Kia ora Year 12, this is a complex numbers question from the Cambridge A-Level paper from May June 2015. It's got three parts to it. The first bit is an algebraic part and then we've got some locus stuff to do. So the first bit is so straightforward I'm just going to do it on this screen. We're given a complex number, u is equal to 1 take away i and we have to evaluate this expression and get it into our usual x plus i y form. So we have i over u is equal to this. We're going to times the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. That will give me 1 minus negative 1. Um, and in the numerator I get i minus 1. My i squared is negative 1. Giving me overall negative 1 half plus a half i. Okay, so that's that one done. Now the next one we'll have a look at here before we move to a screen with a GeoGebra snapshot. This locus is going to be a perpendicular bisector. This one's going to be a circle. We can read this as saying the distance between z and the point 1 minus i must be the same as the distance between z and the origin. So the first point we can say is on that locus, it's going to be the midpoint of those two points. And then we want the um, line that goes through that midpoint, that is the perpendicular bisector of these two points. If you need to do it with the algebra, then you can, but it's going to be a whole lot more work. The way we interpret this one is to say that we want the distance between our complex number z and the point 0 plus i, to be equal to 2. So the radius of a circle centered here is going to be 2. Then the last part of the question, which is the most fun bit, is to find the intersection and then find the arguments of those two points. So let's have a look now. Right, so in GeoGebra, let's first look at this bit. We can plot the origin and we can plot 1 minus i. So GeoGebra, well, as far as I know, won't give me complex um, axes. So I've just done it like this. So this down here is negative i here. The midpoint of those two points is going to be here. And that's going to be the first point that is equidistant between, we'll call it point A and point B. So the locus that we want is going to go through here and here and out here. Now I'm going to try and draw a straight line. You know what the chances of that happening are. There we are. Right, there's my straight line. That's my perpendicular bisector. Right, so that's the first um, part done. Next we want to do the circle locus. So we are asked for this. The distance from point Z to the point I must be equal to 2. So let's plot i, that's going to be the center of my circle. My circle will go up two units to 3i and down two units to negative i. It'll go out two units here and it'll go out two units here. I'm going to do a nice version of this in GeoGebra in a second, but in the exam you're going to be stuck doing your bad equation. Now that's wrong should be this point here, that's better. It's not an ellipse, it's a circle. So the radius here is 2. So let's try drawing now, see how we go. Right, there we go, there's our circle. Okay, right, now the second part of the question is to find these intersection points. There's my nice picture, right, so we're looking for the argument of each of these. So the first one, where they intersect, is going to be, we'll call it z1, is equal to 2 plus i. And the second point we'll call z2 is down here at negative i. So we need to find the arg of z2. So the argument is the angle made with the positive direction of the x-axis and the line from the origin to that point. So the arg of z2 you better call z2 negative i. 
will be negative pi on 2. Right, what about the arg of z1? Well, don't be fooled into thinking that we've got a nice special triangle situation here. We haven't. Um, the arg of z1 is going to come from our basic trig. So here's theta. This is 2, and this is 1. So theta is equal to the angle whose tan is the opposite, 1 over the adjacent 2. That works out to be roughly 26.6 degrees, or if you're working in radians, it's point, oops, point 0.4636 radians. All right, um, leave me a message if you've got any questions about that one. It's a pretty straightforward complex numbers problem. Um, and remember, if you get really lost, you always can, and you forget how loci work, the usual patterns, you can always go back to substituting in um, z equals x plus iy, and you can work the algebra right through. And that will give you the equation of the straight line and then the equation of the circle.